Parlamentarna skupština Bosne i Hercegovine je zakon o slobodi pristupa informacijama donijela još 2000. godine. To između ostalog znači da svako pravno i fizičko lice ima pravo pristupa informacijama koje su pod kontrolom javnog organa, a svaki javni organ ima odgovarajuću obavezu da objavi takve informacije. Implementacija ovog zakona je još u toku. Udruženje Zašto ne aktivno prati i učestvuje u procesu ostvarivanja transparentnosti podataka državnih organa. U sklopu Point 4.0 konferencije i sa namjerom da naglase važnost ostvarivanja strategije za otvorenost javnih podataka i primjene pozitivnih politika iz te oblasti, organizirali su Data Advocacy konferenciju. So data transparency is uh, or transparency is about allowing citizens to have access or see the information and data that government uses in running the country for citizens because ultimately in the UK we believe quite strongly that government works for citizens therefore the data government is using should belong to the citizens there are three main drivers for that it improves the accountability of government to citizens it can improve the functioning and services public services delivered to citizens and it can drive some new innovation and economic and social value can be derived from that data in a raw commodity format. So, so. the idea of transparency uh, here in Bosnia is I think really important uh, from the anti-corruption perspective uh, since the country is struggling with, uh, with a lot of unsolved issues and transparency actually helps in making decisions and holding public officials uh, accountable. So it's a first step to anything, to, to, to making the quality of public life better. Nothing will uh, happen without transparency and no true participation ha can happen without it. Bosnia uh, recently, or at the end of last year, signed a letter of intent to join the Open Government Partnership, which is the international organisation which is uh, providing support to governments trying to do this and driving openness across, the, across governments throughout the world. And I think a letter of intent is a big step forward. The next stage is to come up with an action plan that, that is reasonable for Bosnia to achieve um, between civil society as representatives of the citizens and government that everybody can work towards to actually achieve some openness in that respect. Well of course the structure doesn't help, uh, doesn't help in that so our complicated structure of entities and the national structure and also the, the cantons uh, that won't help but on the other hand it's not the first time for Bosnia to overcome that. We're living in this country for a long time with this structure so I think uh, with a good coordination which I still believe might, might happen, uh, that is achievable. And also there is the other side, there is the side of involving civil society uh, in, uh, in making um, uh, the open government partnership proposition and that's, that will also be uh, a challenge for everybody, also for the civil society sector. There is no process that is always the same for everyone. So, every country needs to find the segments in which it is necessary produbiti ili proširiti transparentnost. To znači dakle da bi vaše vlade, kantoni, općine, gradovi dakle morali odabrati e, neke setove podataka za koje postoji nekakav javni interes e, te bi ih morali učiniti javno dostupnima ne u nekakvom obliku koji je e, strojno obradiv. definitely got to be a political will for governments to want to release the information. Um, I think there's a cultural, cultural element where citizens have to want and have the skills or the understanding or desire to use that information. Um, and I think, and, and in some areas of the world, which is probably not Bosnia, but in some areas of the world there's an issue about the technology around how they can access and use that information. Zemlje poput recimo naših zemalja, koji imaju to socijalističko, komunističko nasljeđe, nažalost, 
U njima je uvijek sve nešto bilo tajnovito i uvijek se skrivalo jer ne želimo uzbunjivati javnost, ne želimo opterećivati javnost sa nepotrebnim podacima i naravno birokracija koja je izrasla u jednom takvom sustavu, ona dio svoje moći temelje na tome da su neke informacije nedostupne. Nedostupna je informacija gdje se može sagraditi nova zgrada, nedostupna je informacija gdje će ići nova cesta, gdje će se graditi nova hidrocentrala. I onda dakle ti neki ljudi baziraju svoju moć na tome da oni znaju nešto što vi ne znate. First of all, it's of course very comfortable not to inform people. It's just easier even for us normally, like not to share too many information because it takes time, it's demanding and people are asking questions as after. So it's never finished after releasing some information, there's always something more. So we need to be really prepared. Second of all, we all come from the culture of secrecy and that is harmful, that it might be harmful to share the information. So I think that we have a very deep issues with sharing anything and that's why also it comes from the uh, administration on the government side. In the UK citizens can now see who, who is who in the senior officials, what they get paid. Um, they can see where government's spending the money, each department. They can see how different hospitals are performing down to that level of detail so on particular types of surgery. So you can see how, who's good at hip surgery, who's good at neurosurgery. Decide whether that's actually where you want to go and have your operation and use that to inform your choices or what school your child, you want to send your child to, which one's got the best performance in different areas. And that really informs citizens' lives and makes them take control of it and enables them to make active choices about Dakle, ono što bih htjeli vidjeti je način na koji država troši novac, dakle da vidimo kome su novci otišli, po kojim ugovorima, kako, dakle da to bude javno dostupno i lagano dostupno, nešto je puno bitnije jer ponekad države kažu da je nešto dostupno, no međutim kad vidite proceduru koja je potrebna proceduru koju je potrebno ispuniti da bi do nekog podatka došli, onda to uglavnom većinu ljudi odbije i jednostavno prestanu tražiti. Dakle, recimo, to su javne nabave, način na koji se troši novac. To bi mogli biti, ne znam, podaci o zdravstvenom sustavu, podaci o javnom prometu, ne, u smislu od voznih redova, željeznica, autobusa, tramvaja, dakle, sve takve stvari, ne, to bi mogli biti meteorološki podaci, ne, to bi mogli biti, ne znam, geolokacijske koordinate svih zgrada u Hrvatskoj ili Bosni i Hercegovini. E, I onda na temelju tih podataka zainteresirani ljudi mogu graditi svoje nekakve aplikacije. First of all, these are our money, our as, uh, citizens who are paying taxes. And second of all, uh, they should be spent in favor of society. So nobody, um, there is nobody who doesn't make a mistake and the administration can make mistakes as well. And we are here not to say, oh, it's bad, like you did bad, ha, ha, ha. It's rather, we should change it because it doesn't work in favor of what we planned. So that's why it's good to have a transparent government so we know what will happen, so we know the strategies, the plans, and also we can compare the plans and uh, the assets that will be used in order to implement the plan and then the result. So I think that the citizens need to take part in in every step of that.